didn't close an eye all night long. Howling sandstorms. After 9,000 years, the moment is here. If he makes even the teensiest little mistake today, all is lost. It's going to be a right tough day for Fair. I'll go ring up Daddy. It's late at night in England. I'm sorry to wake up Daddy, but it might well be our last phone call. <laughs> sorry. Excuse me. I'm trying to get through here, mates. Oh, no, it's late, Mrs. Fotheringay. Oh, what's going on? Tilda! Hold on, let me take the telephone and move outside. Half a mo. Daddy, what in the world is going on? Daddy! Can you hear me now? My mates down in the mine are throwing a little party to celebrate me being saved from Shaft 13. I wish I were there with you. But the fatal moment has come. We've been through the deserts, forests and mountains of half the world and we've managed to reunite the seven fragments of the Shariman. Now Farhat will have the entire Shariman for the final showdown with Ego Khan and then there's a fact that that cursed demon is holding his parents prisoner and that his accomplice Snarchkov will have a hand in the matter. Lord love a duck! Evil livers though they might be, they don't stand a chance against my daughter the genius. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. That's just what I needed to hear. I'm a Swanson, after all, and the daughter of Nigel Swanson of Bermondsey, the finest daddy any girl could ever wish for. I'm running off now, Daddy, but I love you. Good luck to you, lovey, and to Farat and Ali and Ben. Gushing, guys. I am wanting just recompense for my sly, unflagging, underhanded evilness. I must win him. I am spending millions building most modern super inventions to obstructing path of this cursed brat. But all to no avail. But this time I am outdoing myself with multiple menaces. So entire desert will be tomb for Farhat and his miserable little band. <laughs> I'll let Snarchkov play with his silly toys. There's nothing he can do to prevent the predestined prince from arriving here in my den. Bringing with him the light of the magic crystals for the final battle against the might of the shadows. And so, I will invoke the forces of all the malignant spirits. I will awaken the destructive powers of nature. I will shake the earth down to its very core. I will strike Farhat directly in his heart through that which is most dear to him. <laughs> now you will use the Shariman to defeat Igor Khan, and at last you will free your parents. Yes, but how? Hey, what's going on here? War Council? <clears throat> Ali, what in the world are you going to do? <sighs> Before going off the battle, <clears throat> Mutton beats a good soak in the regenerating gig. We've carefully followed the instructions on Zenim's map, and we've reunited the Shariman. But now, just exactly what do we do? My beloved master, Zenim, simply said that the light would be reborn from the Shariman. Or something like that, you know? Quite. The great light of Scorpio. At least that's what all the old writings say. Well, it may all be about light, but I am in the dark. <laughs> well, if we take a look around, I'm sure we'll come up with some sort of hint or other. <gasps> Don't you think? Ali, stay still. Uh, what is it? A monster? A snake? A mother-in-law? Sit uh, still. Uh... <laughs> Most interesting indeed. Pencil and paper, quick. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, would you be so good as to calm down, please? Say what? Who asked you to stick your R in, kiddo? A work of genius. We have here the map of Iga Khan's labyrinth. Yes, it corresponds perfectly. He was a wonder old Master Zenim was. He designed the map on Ali's tummy. Howling sandstorms. I've been walking around for eight centuries with a map on my belly and I never noticed. Are those symbols writing? Ancient Chaldean. Zenim often used it as a secret code. Now we just have to decipher it. Oh yes, it's obvious. Obvious? Not to me it isn't. The Shariman in the center, the sun on the horizon, and Shaula at the zenith. Marvelous. Now I'm even more lost than before. No, Shaula is the star in Scorpio's tail. 
When will it be found at the zenith while the sun is setting? Excellent question. It's an extraordinarily rare astronomical configuration, but it just so happens it's going to occur today. So at sunset, the Shariman has to be here. At the center of the labyrinth. In exactly nine hours, 16 minutes, and 23 seconds from now. Time's a-wasting, kids. Let's move it. What do we do once we get there? How do we know till it happens? Let's move. My parents, Ali. Howling sandstorms, get off of your duff. Yes, come, my little galoob chicks. The desert she waits for you. <laughs> I'll just take a slug of Super Gallop gig and we'll be there in two ticks. Hold on a second. Wouldn't it be more fun to slide over to the labyrinth? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Come on, get on top! A fly, little galoop chicks. Is lovely surprise awaiting you. I don't know, but we can't allow them to mire us down here. But how on earth can we manage to avoid them? Can you tell where they are? <laughs> We're surrounded oh. by them. Another little nasty by Snarchkoff, oh. unless I miss my guess. Shadow? Peanuts, popcorn? Reconnaissance! Yahoo! Doing, boss. I can slither my way through them, but you guys oh. don't have a hope. <laughs> Move just one step, Galoop chicks, and you will be torn apart. I can't believe it right here and now when we're so close to our goal. Don't do anything foolish. <sighs> oh. Hold on. <laughs> I got something here that just might do the trick for us. Never tried it before. If this works, those mechanical snakes will bite the dust. Or more accurately, the sand. Open your mouths. Sand gig! What kind of mulligatawny was that? A potion that turns us into grains of desert sand. That way those things won't even realize we're there. My body's being pulverized. Mine's ah. being sanded. But that eight-foot mechanical worm took my portion. Sorry, Bubble, there's nothing more I can do. I can only be swept away by the desert wind. I've never felt so light in my life. I'm sorry about this, Ben. Don't worry about me, Farhat. Do what you were born to do. Save your parents. Save the world, my prince. Well, I was right about who was behind this latest dirty trick. How you doing, Sand Face? <laughs> now I am forced to listen to Sand, which is not only talking, but getting into my eyes. Well, you uh, know who it is? Tis the voice uh, of the desert, Akushna. <laughs> 
the snake machines. I must deactivating them. Stop! Stop! I am saying! You must obey me! No! My very dear friend, up to snatch I'll bet you never thought things would pan out this way. We have a favoring wind. We'll be at the labyrinth in a jiffy. It seems too easy. Uh oh, look out, guys. This here sandstorm will throw us to the four corners of the desert. Then what will happen? <laughs> uh, uh, we'll never take on our natural forms again. We'll stay sand forever. Wait, the Shariman is saving us. Then off we go, chaps, to the labyrinth. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. The desert sand is exceeding fine and penetrates everywhere. I say no! Farhat Ali, wait for me! Howling sandstorms! That sand gig is really something! Curses! Tilda didn't make it inside. First Ben, now her. We have to be careful. You got that right, Bubbala. It's scary here. I'm convinced Egocon is watching every step we take. Who knows what that stinker has up his sleeve? Huh? Uh -huh. Either I'm going out of my mind, or that wall's doing the bunny walk. No, no! Hold tight, kiddo. Just let me prepare a good... <laughs> Stupid wall! I need to wake up something good. I know, the perforation gig. You enjoy your little uh, cocktails, don't uh, you? Well, drink them all! <laughs> Good, Ali, you made it! No! You see, Ego Khan took me. Ali, what's going on? Ego Khan took me. And wiped up the floor with me. Howling sandstorms. I can't go on. I'm useless. <laughs> Forget about me, kiddo. Go on. You know what you have to do. I'll be back as soon as I can. Very well, then. It'll be just the two of us. I'm coming after you. Yes, young prince. Just the two of us. All ye arcane forces of the netherworlds, I summon ye to my side! Oh! <laughs> forward, Shariman, forward! Where am I? Perseverance, young prince. The hour has come, Eagle Khan. The 
Shariman will return to its place and you cannot impede it. I won't even try, but they will. <laughs> Father! Mother! What are you waiting for, Farhat? Why don't you give your parents a big hug? <laughs> Ask them for permission to enthrone the Shariman. I don't know why, but I have the vague idea they may not be in agreement. <laughs> Mother, father, don't you recognize me? It's Farhat, I'm your son! Begging and whining won't help. I subjugated their spirits, and now they are my faithful servants! <sighs> what are you waiting for? Use your sword against them! The only way to enthrone the Shariman is to hack your parents to pieces! <laughs> The sun is setting. Farhat, you must hurry. The Shariman must be enthroned before long. Father, I didn't mean to hurt you. Oh. Shadow! visible during the day. The center of the labyrinth. That's where I must place the Shariman. Reflect well, Farhat. I must follow the path laid out for me. Leaving the world in your hands would be worse than death itself. One thing at least. You will Let not live to see your victory! you were supposed to, kiddo, and lots more. They would have been real proud of you. <laughs> hey! 
I'm still all in one piece. <gasps> Far out! Hey, you guys, you're not dead. The swords that pierce them were Ego Khan's magic. Now that he's gone, his magic is annulled. Mother. Father. Look at me, Mother. Farhat. Oh, my son. Farhat, you have succeeded in that which no man had ever dared. May you live in blessedness forever. Oh, my son. Howling sandstorms, this is all too much for an old warrior like me to bear. Look over there. Oh. Your Majesties, how wonderful mm -hmm. it is to see you safe and sound again. My faithful Ben, our joy would not be complete if you were not with us. Hmm. And I note with pleasure that you have brought us a gift. <laughs> Your most gracious Majesties, my heart is overflowing with tears of joy to seeing you. I am sure your majesty with his razor-sharp intellect, not to mention mm. his lightning-like insights in grasping salient facts, could not have failed to realize that every one of my actions and words was designed to throw monster off track and provide protection and assistance for your son. Such selfless devotion deserves a reward, Snarchkov, and so I will take it upon myself personally to provide you with shelter and nourishment forever. Ah, long life to their most gracious majesties. Remember the legend? Once there was a happy land where the brooks ran merrily and where animals and children frolicked on the lawn together. Well, it's not a legend. The Sharaman is the heart of an ancient machine that is now once again producing pure and limitless energy for the benefit of the Earth and for all mankind. We got ourselves a couple of fine kids, huh? mate, a blooming great couple. Indeed. Oh, please, Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I, I didn't mean anything, lovey. <clears throat> ben, are the horses ready? At the postern gate. Shall we? Oh, quite, let's. <laughs> oh, uh. There's nothing like a good canter after breakfast. I always say, ah! <laughs> I think we'd better leave them alone for a little while. Huh? Well, maybe. I suppose you'll be going back to your studies at Oxford now. Is that what you want me to do? Oh, well, I mean, it's a decision that must be made, but you're the only one who can make it. I've had several proposals of research fellowships, all with attractive conditions and perquisites. And have you decided to accept any of them? Not yet. I'm waiting to see if some even more interesting proposal will come from another quarter. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Long living to His Highness Prince Farhat! Long living to our beloved royal family. This humiliation will finish. In. I will have my revenge. Yes, yes, a very great revenge. Uh, Abdul Snarchkov has spoken. Mm. <laughs>